up you guys so this is gonna be a tutorial showing you guys how to use time remapping or speed remapping to make sure that your clip smoothly speeds up or slows down and yeah it could be a great tool to use for transitions um, when you want to speed up and then go to the next one this is also a tool that probably most of your favorite filmmakers use because it's just such an easy and nice transition into a new clip so yeah let's get started so here I have these two clips and these are two good clips to work with because I know I want to slow down when he's doing the trick and then when he lands it I want to speed it up kind of so first thing we want to do is make the cuts that you want to cut um, and then I'm gonna press my first clip and then right click and then go all the way down to show clip keyframes and then time remapping and speed. So now time remapping is added to our clip. So now if we go down to our effect controls, we'll see that time remapping pops up. So now let's go to the left and scroll up so that we could see more of our clip pop up and we can also see the keyframes that we'll be adding. Okay, so here, is the beginning of the clip and I want it to slow down once he gets in the air and um, does his trick so I'm gonna drag forward to where he does that and then I'm gonna press the keyframe button then I'm gonna go to where he lands and then I'm gonna press another keyframe button because after he lands I want to speed up so we're making keyframes every time we know that we want to slow down or speed up and then he lands it I want it to be normal speed from here so I'm gonna press another keyframe and then I'm going to press the keyframe at the end so that I speed up in the end. Okay, so now we can see that our keyframes are added onto the clip. So what we can do is we can drag our first section, the line, we can drag the line up so that it goes faster and then lower so that it goes slower. So we want it to go slower. So I'm going to slow it down and look at that, that's so slow that it cuts off the rest of the clip. I'm just going to slow it down a little bit. Um, you can see that it has percent marks. I'm also just going to drag my last clip to the end so that it doesn't cut off my end of the clip. Okay, so let's just drag it down to slow it down about 68 or 72%. Okay, so now you can see that it slows down, but only on the section that we uh, made a keyframe for. Okay, now let's zoom in, and if we drag that top keyframe to the left then you could see that it kind of forms a diagonal line going down which means that it's blending in and it's slowly slowly slowing down if that makes sense like it goes from normal and then it's gonna transition into slow motion so here it slows down and then I want my normal clip and then here at the end I want to speed it up so I'm gonna go up and I'm going to speed it up by a lot so um, it transitions into the next clip. And then I'm going to drag that cursor to the left so that it makes a diagonal line again so that it smoothly transitions into becoming a fast clip. So it slowly speeds up to the speed that I wanted. Okay, so I think I'm liking that. So I'm going to drag my second clip back up. And then now my first clip is speeding up at the end. And my second clip is normal, so I want to adjust this. Okay, so let's right click again, go to show clip keyframes, timer mapping, and speed. I'm going to make a keyframe a little bit after the start of the clip because I want him to speed up in the beginning because at the end of my first clip it speeds up. Then I'm going to go a little bit further where he starts doing his trick and then put another keyframe. And then where he lands the trick, I'm going to keyframe that and then I'll be done. Okay, so in the beginning, I said I wanted to speed it up to match the first clip. So I'm going to drag it up all the way up to kind of match the line. Okay, I'm just going to unlink the audio. Okay. Okay, so you can see that in the beginning, it also speeds it up, but I want to go a bit faster so it matches the first clip. Okay, I'm just going to speed up the first clip as well. Okay, so now both of them speed into each other, um, which I think looks pretty cool. Because it's like a like nice little transition. Now I want to go a little bit further in the clip. And I wanted to leave this part as a normal speed. And then for my third section of keyframes. I'm going to slow it down. Because this is when he's doing his trick again. And then at the end again I'm going to speed it up. Now I'm going to adjust my ending. 
um, keyframe bars and then I'm going to drag it to the right so that it kind of makes the diagonal line again so it smoothly speeds up. So yeah, you can just keep playing with the speeds and I think this is a really good tool to use to really smooth out your edits and slow motion and speed ramping and yeah. So let's watch it back and we can see it's like a cool little edit because it, everything looks really smooth and yeah. And then let's also watch it in reverse. So the first clip speeds up and then yeah. So yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, this was just a basic tutorial on how to use speed ramping for your videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.